My granddad was Stuart Betts and um, he was an amazing man, brother, friend. His main thing was his, his uh, faith in God, so that was um, how he started the day, finished the day. Granddad out of anyone in my life showed me the most joy and I'm reminded of that all the time, how much joy a man of 90 years old um, with uh, cancer and um, all sorts of problems, you know, that he had his, you know, granny, his wife just died and, you know, had, but he showed so much joy. He would uh, get up in the morning, make a cup of tea and he would do his Bible reading and his praying down here in the morning and then he had this prayer book which expanded and expanded and he prayed for different people every day. So he would meet someone and then if they had a problem or something that needed praying for, he'd put that by the side of it. And there's just pages and pages of names, just little notes of different needs as well, intertwined with all these names. It's incredible. And so often he would pray for us, so he would get up and he would pray for us as grandchildren. I think there's 15 grandchildren and they all love Jesus and many of them are working for churches, many of them are on aid or doing amazing things for Jesus and I put that down to his prayer over the years. It just must, there must be a connection between his prayer and our um, faith and how important it is to each one of us. It has definitely been an inspiration to me to um, keep my faith simple. I think that he would just like to get the message out there for people to keep praying and keep persisting and maybe have a prayer diary. It's enjoyable as well, he enjoyed it and, the, and he had a relationship with God and, and he wanted to pass that on to other people. You can't put a figure or a number on prayer, but actually it's probably worth way more than we could ever dream of or imagine. Yeah.